Hi, I'm Nick Sands. Welcome to my nightmare. So we are down here today in my basement because this is supposed to be the place where I do my work. I'm supposed to be editing down here. I'm supposed to be building down here. I'm supposed to be making down here. I'm supposed to be creating down here. And uh, as you can see, it's in no shape to do that. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know how we got to this point. When I first moved in here, my plan was to use this space exclusively as my creator spot. I would have a small area for storage and everything else would be geared toward me making the kind of content that I wanted to make. Whether that was building things, whether that was gaming, whether it was photography, videography, whatever I wanted to do, I wanted to have a space that I could do it. Now, the problem is me. I tend to hold on to things. I don't think I'm a hoarder, but I'm not far off. The problem is I'm very, very cheap. The idea of buying the same thing twice fills me with dread. It makes my balls suck up into my body and my asshole tightens so much a tardigrade would have a hard time getting in there. And so, instead of throwing things out like normal, instead of getting rid of things, I instead have packed it into this basement area. I've pushed it in and pushed it in and pushed it in to the point that we have no more room to do anything. This year, 2024, I'm changing that. I'm going to take this hellscape and turn it into a place that I can actually do the shit that I need to do. So there's five things that I need my basement to do. And I want to have a, a workstation for each one. The five things are an actual workout station where I can use these weights, an area I can build things. So woodworking tools, metalworking tools, 3D printers, that kind of thing. Maybe a CNC machine at some point, if any companies are watching. I unfortunately do need some storage, and I think right here is going to continue to be the main storage area. A workstation I can actually work in, so a place for editing, a place for small projects, that kind of thing. Lastly, I would like sort of a, a media area where I can hang this giant TV that I have. I can watch DVDs, watch movies. Um, maybe set up some streaming, that kind of thing. So ideally, that's what my basement can do for me. Let's stop talking about why we're doing it and start talking about how we're gonna do it. We're taking a two-pronged approach to this. Hold on one sec, let me draw this out. Uh. Uh. You can tell me none Boss mode in effect and my money long If you ain't talking money, don't talk to me uh, I be over here where the bosses be uh, Pockets on thick cause I eat my greens uh, Way too hot Three I mean, you, you kind of see the problem now probably Hold on one second Alright, so to fix this is going to take a two-pronged approach. Prong number one is going to be decluttering. I have a lot of stuff. I need way less stuff. Prong number two is going to be organ is a Organization. I'm gonna take all my stuff and I'm gonna put it where it goes. So we're gonna start with prong number one, decluttering. And how are we gonna do that? We are going to do that using something that I found called Basically, the minimalism challenge is that on day one, you throw out one thing. 
On day two, you throw out two things. On day three, you throw out three things. Three, three. Day three, you throw out three things. That's, that's tough to say. You try. And you do that for 30 days. And at the end of 30 days, you've gotten rid of a bunch of stuff. Because I have so much stuff and no room to organize it, I'm actually going to be doing the inverse. So I'm going to start with day 30. Hold on. How is the camera going to see this? Hold on. I'm going to use the whiteboard. I'm going to start with day 30. Wait, is that? Yeah, okay. Day 30. And I'm going to work backwards to day one. Just because I need, I need the space in here. I don't have enough room and I need to get rid of some of this stuff. And so I'm going to be doing that for the next 30 days. You're going to see some highlights from in here. That's really going to be handled in the shorts section. And that is prong number one. And that is going to be the first month of the cleanup process. Again, this is, I'm looking at this broadly. We're shooting for a 12 month thing here. There's no way that I would be able to have time to like take the, I don't even know, four, like three, four weeks I would need to clear this out, organize it, get it ready. And so instead, we're gonna be doing it in chunks, starting with this one. In the meantime, you may see me, um, you know, doing some other things. You may see me, uh, uh, so my plan is that once a month, I am going to post a video of the progress of the basement following my inverse declutter challenge uh, or minimalism challenge. I don't even remember what it was called now. That's the game plan as of right now. I hope you enjoy this update. Things are this year. This year is a big year. My goal for the end of the year is full monetization, full uh, content creation time all the time for your boy, Nick. I think I got it worked out that it, that is going to work out. So, do me a favor, if you want to see my basement transform with me, or if you just want to be able to lay your eyes on this beautiful mug every once in a while, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy seeing the transformation as much as I do. Thank you for tuning in. Mwah! I love you. And I will talk to you soon. I look like a bag of money I'm on They wanna know what I'm on Got diamonds dancing on my neck That is the vibe I'm on Drip, way too lit Who gon' check? You can't tell me none